Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I am talking about my July TBR, which I'm, well, I'm super excited for, to do my first official Tomb Infinity uh, readathon. In December, I was looking to do some readathons, I was wanting to get more reading done, and this was the first readathon I found on BookTube, and I did my own miniature copy because it had already happened. And so I've been anxiously looking forward to doing this year. And Meg just announced it, or I just read the announce, or eh, I just watched the announcement this past week. So I'm super excited. And I've already printed off my um, beautiful maps. And these are gorgeous, by the way. I look forward to coloring them. So yeah. Um, so my, and well, I'm, I'm also very excited to do this readathon since it's focused on science fiction books and a lot of the books that I am wanting to read for the Nebulas and Hugos are science fiction. So they work perfectly with these prompts for me, for the most part. There are a few that are just from my TBR still. So that is so these are the books that I am planning to do in July. We will hopefully I will get through a lot of them. And I'm going to put the links for to Meg um, from Meg's Infinity book list down below so that you can go hear her explanation as well. And that's where you will get the maps and also see the links for her hosts. Uh, so number one is Heart of the Solar System. Read a science fiction book that has fire in the name or on the cover. And for this, I am choosing Fire with Fire. And I just realized I did not list any of the authors for these books, but you will see with the picture that they will, the book cover, that picture that will be up there, you'll get to see the author name. So yeah, so Fire with Fire. And this is the first book for a book that is on the Nebula nomination that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, number two, A Molten Planet. Be quick and read a novella. And I chose To Be Taught If Fortunate. Then undis number three, Undiscovered, read a book that a host has rated five stars. And I chose from uh, Sam O'Rett's Sarcasm and Sci-Fi, who's another booktuber that I also like to follow already, um, and a five-star book that she gave that I have started, I had started at one point, but I know I just need to restart from the beginning, is The Long Way to a Small and Angry Planet. And so just to be clear, all the prompts on this are specifically science fiction. Um, I'm just not going to continue to say science fiction. And Meg even made a joke. She goes, how many times am I going to say science fiction in this video? And for my notes, I'm like, well, I know it's science fiction. So I'm just read a book. So, But they are all science fiction prompts. Um, number four, faster rotations, book with time-based elements like time travel, time warps, that sort of thing. Um, and then I chose, this is how you lose the time war. So number five, shooting star, book with the star on the cover or in the title. And I chose the stars we steal. Number six, a ringed planet, read a classic sci-fi. And for this, I am reading the, uh, the book, The Future is Female, which is a compilation of classic female authors from, I think the synopsis said from the 1920s to like the 1950s. So I'm very excited to get to read more female authors from the era of, from the golden era of science fiction, as they like to call it. And number seven, Lone Moon, read a standalone. And for this one, I chose The Light Brigade by Cameron Hurley. And I know this I knew the author for this one, and she's known, she has done series before, but she also does standalones. Hey everyone, I have to make a little bit edit to my July TBR. The original prompt I had for number eight, I am not able to get the book from the library, and at this time I'm not able to buy it either, and so I had to change it up. So the one that you are going to see in this video is for number eight, An Interesting Planet, read a book with a beautiful cover. I have chosen Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and I think that all the covers in this 
novella series are gorgeous. So that is what I will be reading in July for number eight. Then I have number nine, Earthoid. Read a book set on Earth. And for this one, I chose Halting State. So something I, I want to explain is Meg did say that you can use a book to cover multiple prompts. For my TBR, I decided to have fun and just choose different books for each prompt. But as I'm going through in reality, if I'm reading a book and I, I'll go, oh, this can cover several prompts. And as t- if, especially if I see that I'm not going to have enough time to get to the one I have listed, then I will count the book for the several prompts. But right now I'm being adventurous and trying one book per prompt, which I don't think I could get through 22 books in reality, but it's always fun to dream. All right. So number 10, Diverse Life Found. Read a book promoting diversity. And the book I chose was Rosewater. Number 11, Strange World. Read a book with fantastical mythology or retelling elements. And then I actually lied. I just, you know, I explained earlier that I had chosen one book for each thing. This one, actually, I doubled up on already ahead of time, and that is The Stars We Steal. And I know that this is a retelling of a Jane Austen premise. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a retelling of a Jane Austen, because this author likes to do retellings of classic works set in space. The number 12, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, a science fiction children's or middle grade, and I chose Dragon Pearl. Number 13, Hidden Hidden Moon, a book that is not talked about or under 5,000 ratings. And the book I chose was Catfishing on the Catnet. The number 14, Paradise, read a book you are excited about. And I chose The City in the Middle of the Night. Number 15, Subplanet, a book that is part of a larger series. And I put Exit Strategy. Exit Strategy, number 16, a large planet and a planetary system orbiting it. Another editing note, for my book for over 500 pages, I am doing middle game. Number 17, Gas Giant, the most popular book you own but haven't read. And I left this blank at this time because thinking, so I'm not at my house, so I couldn't, as I was making the list, I realized I couldn't think of any science fiction book that was currently on my physical TBR. I can only think of a lot of uh, fantasy books. So I've left this blank for now until I can go home and actually look through the books that are on there. Hey everyone, so an editing update. When I originally did the my list for the readathon for Meg's or for Tome Infinity and Beyond, I didn't have no I didn't remember what science fiction books were on my shelf on for my to be read. So I went through and I found two, but in the spirit of Meg's ask to make a concentrated effort to read black authors, I have chosen Kindred by Octavia Butler. So that is the missing prompt that I am going, or the book that for the prompt that I didn't have one. Thanks. Number 18, Armageddon. Read a book with a disaster or dystopian. And the book I chose was War Girls. This is set in the future and it talks about the world has gone through some disasters, nuclear and uh, climate-wise, and so I thought that would be perfect for this prompt. And also, Meg has asked us to make, to be more intentional about reading Black authors. For her, she was going to do Black authors for her whole list. Just because I'm, I'm really focusing on the Nebulas and Hugo nominations, I chose not to. But for the one, for the books that I still needed to find prompts, I did try to find Black authors to fill them. And this, I know, is one of them. And I believe it came out, if not at the beginning of 2020, the end of 2019. So it's also a pretty new, pretty new release. Um, number 19, Scanners Show Lots of Minerals book featuring robots or androids, and I chose Rogue Protocol, which is another book in the Martha Wells Murderbot series. Number 20, We're Going on a Trip, a book that features space travel. 
and I have Raising Cain. Number 21, UFO, a book with extraterrestrial beings, Trial by Fire. 22, The Outliner, a book that has been on your TBR for way too long. And I put down Planetfall. And this is actually a book that is on my currently to read list and has been there for a while, or my currently reading list on Goodreads and has been there for a while. So I should probably just start it over and keep going. So yes, so those are the books that I am hoping to read for the Tomb Infinity and Beyond readathon. I'd love to hear what you guys are planning to read. So go ahead and list your science fiction comments down below. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.